According to Ace, showbiz.com, Cinead O'Connor, last wish was to die without ruining her kids' lives. The single was full of sorrow as she was struggling with depression and suicidal thoughts in the years leading up to her sudden passing. O'Connor really hoped that she died without ruining her kids' lives. The late mom of four died in, on July 26, 18 months after the suicide of her son Shane, who was 17 years old. He took his life when he escaped a hospital while on suicide watch. The late star also has two sons that are 36, 16, and a daughter who's 27. They shared a string of tweets about her desire to kill herself in the years leading up to her death, which have resurfaced since her July 26 passing in London. She tweeted in 2011, People who express suicidal feelings are least likely to act on them. Anyone who gives you the remote bit of SHIT for expressing suicidal feelings is a W. Two weeks later, she tweeted, I want to go to heaven so bad, can't manage anymore. Badly wish I could die without it ruining my kids' lives. The Nothing Compares to You singer added in October that year on Twitter, by saying or tweeting, I have been so traumatized over the years by this treatment of me as if I'm a mad woman. I have often and still often struggle with suicidal feelings when I am subjected to this mad. Um, a year later, she said on the platform, going to be off radar for a few weeks, but we'll be right back. Worry not. I'm going to the hospital treatment for depression not at all well but they will put me back together quick after police were called to Cineas new apartment in southeast London on the morning of Wednesday July 26 following a report of an unresponsive woman at her home and the singer was pronounced dead at the scene her death is not being treated as suspicious you know, guys, this is definitely a wake-up call, you know, to take people serious whenever they're acting strange. Take people serious when they um, post scripted um, tweets and messages on their Instagram or social media in general. You know, we're living in that type of world now where people post to the public and I'm telling you, when you see something that doesn't seem right, take heed, call someone to help. Let's talk about this in the comments, guys. Thanks so much for listening, and don't forget to subscribe.